kids, this is Jazz bringing you another gamer pickup. This is going to kind of be a mini gamer pickup because one thing isn't even actually quite a game, but it, it has to do with it. Anything that has to do with gaming, like part of the actual game itself, I include. Now these two things, it's mini because there's only two, these two things are mint, like are digital. They're not a physical, I, can't, I don't hold a physical copy of them, but you'll see pictures in there. The first game I got, although both of them I'll say are for The Sims. The first one I got is I got the Game Pack Dine Out, which allows you to own a restaurant and to and make different foods, more food than usual and stuff. And I've played that a little. We'll say out of the two things, this is my least favorite. I like it. And there's a reason I bought it, because it adds more to the game. But, it's still, for what it is, it's still really good. If I could figure out how to open the restaurant, I'd probably enjoy it more. That's just me, though, figuring things out. And the second and last thing I have gotten are kids' room stuff. It's a stuff pack, which is smaller than the game pack. But, like, it came out today. Well, actually... Today, as, like, or it came out the last few days, and this, as I'm recording it, when you see this, it'll probably be, like, August or September, about, so it's still a while away, right? But right now, it's June, June 29th, so it came out several days back, either today or several days back, and it allows you to... Customize your kids' room, do different activities, like, they have their own card game now. I think it's Void something. I forget what it is. Voidroids, or... I forget. Yeah, it shows how my brain is. Right. And we could put on puppet shows. I mean, like, there's there's other things you could do there, too. Right? There's different customization, like, options and different hair and clothes, like there's a lot of new clothes in it that makes the kid a little bit more, you know I mean, optional, like it makes them look different, it gives them their own style, and I've, it has a lot of cool features, I mean my favorite are probably the traded card aspect and the puppet aspect, I mean it's so cool, like the puppet, it looks so realistic when they're putting on the puppet show, they actually do it. They don't just go, they don't just go in there, do 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 right? It actually shows it. If you if you zoom in, you can actually see the puppet show going on. Well, I mean, it's they still talk in sim language, and it shows pictures, but they're still playing, like, with the puppets, which is awesome. The traded card game, like, they have a virtual thing where the cards and the monsters will go, like, on there, right? And they'll battle it such, and it, it's so cool. I mean... And like I like, and the, it's hard to explain my excitement about it. I actually will just put it this way. You know how like especially in the Let's Play, I've put different beds just in a big room for kids and just different stuff around, right? I actually customized like I have two kids. I actually customized each of their bedroom individually. Yeah, I did that. It shows how much fun that made it. You will later see an overview of Dine Out and Kids Stuff, but this will be after this is uploaded. So you'll see more detail about what I mean. It, and you'll see me saying the card game correctly, too. So I apologize, like, my brain just went snap about that. But they have a lot of cool features for a stuff pack. Well, stuff means stuff, I suppose, so it wouldn't be just clothes. You'd think it would, but it isn't. It has, like, stuff to customize the bedroom. And, like, different activities to do, too. And, like, it just, like, especially the fact that there's no toddlers in this game at this point, right? The stuff, the kids' room stuff had really helped personalize some of the kids a little bit. And... This is obviously of my two favorite, even though it's not like a game pack feature. It feels complete to me. It gives me more so far than the game pack seemed to. 
I don't often buy stuff packs because that's like what I see it is as stuff packs, but I suppose I should be thinking the other way too, but the kids pack I I had to get it. It was just after watching the overview, I watched an overview of someone else, I think Jessimka two four. And after seeing all that, I had to get it for myself. That like that's something I knew I would use and that I would rave about as well. And I know, like, right now I'm busy with The Sims 2, and it won't, there won't be another Sims 4 for a little bit. Like, well, maybe by the time this comes out, it might. I don't know. Because I don't know that far in the future. But as I'm recording this, I don't have intentions on doing a Sims 4 actual Let's Play for a while. The overview is going to be a little longer, but it's not going to be a full series. Just be played around and showing you the stuff in the pack. Which hope I don't get copyrighted for because a lot of it is create a sim. Well, anyway, that was my game or pickup. I hope you enjoyed me and raving on about it. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.